Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and before we get started, let's get today's shoutouts out of the way. Today's shoutouts goes to two people, Miles Pina, 2024, and Eddie Malhan. Both were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus both win a shoutout, so congratulations to both of you. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and I have a review of a neat new uh, FPV camera system. This is uh, the FXT T82 Venus Pro V2 camera on the front here with the FX. 868T uh, transmitter uh, bundle package from FXT. They provide both the camera and its mount and also its transmitter. Now what, what's special about this particular camera? This is the T82 camera from FXT. It is a camera that po is powered by 4.8 volts up to 36 volts. It's 800 TV line with a one-third inch CMOS sensor. It's not a CCD sensor in this. Uh, does provide 150 degrees horizontal field of view. It's available, it, it can, it is switchable between 16 to 9 and 4 to 3 aspect ratio. I like to fly with 16 to 9 and I have it set for that. Um, it is an NTSC camera. I like that because that's 30 frames per second. That's easy for me to sync up with my YouTube videos that I produce. I mean, it has a super wide dynamic range. That, what that means is this can see good both in shadow and in sunlight. So it, it kind of balances out sunlight and uh, shade so that you don't get this blacked out, uh, you know, if it gets dark. <laughs> this, this is able to see in the shade, in other words. Um, it does include an on-screen display, but it also has gesture control, which is pretty cool. Uh, it also has smart audio capability. I forgot to mention that with the on-screen display through the uh, transmitter. Uh, but gesture control is what I want to talk about. I'll talk about that here in detail here shortly. Let's go over the transmitter real quick. Now, that is the FX868T transmitter comes with this bundle. It's 25 to 200 milliwatts switchable, and that's through uh, either smart audio or using the switch on here. Um, it's 37 channels, and it's 37 channels, to, so it's FCC compliant in the United States. Uh, this transmitter though it is limits the power that you can use in this system. This transmitter is only uh, can use 5 volt uh, input power to this transmitter. So even though this this uh, camera can go from 4.8 up to 36 volts, uh, this when you're buying this bundle if you're using this transmitter you got to keep the voltage under 5 volts. Now LiPo batteries and I got a LiPo here it's going to power this only have voltage up to 4.2 volts and they go down to about 3 volts. Um, I have been powering this system with this LiPo. So even though it says it's, this camera's limit is 4.8 volts and this transmitter is 5 volts, I've been running this down to 3.5 volts with this uh, particular battery with no problem. In fact, this little battery was able to power this thing for over 30 minutes. and I, That surprised me. At 25 milliwatts though. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be flying this probably with 25 milliwatts. And if it's not satisfactory, I'll switch to 200 milliwatts. By the way, I don't know if you noticed this cowling that this is attached to, but this is from my XK-A1200 uh, glider. Big glider from XK. Uh, that's one of my favorite gliders. <laughs> so that's one of my keepers, what I'm trying to say. is, And I'm going to try that try this on my XK-A1200. But before we do, I want to show you real quick what they're talking about when they're gesture control and I'm going to be recording this through uh, my goggles here I think this is recording no it's not recording yet let me hit record and I'm sorry for the neighbor's dog he's barking outside here I, I don't know you see somebody but let's hit uh, record make sure this is recording okay we're in record mode now to use gesture control what you need to do is plug in the battery and as soon as you see the FXT logo shade the lens of the camera with your your hand and that will should bring up the gesture control there 25 milliwatts and it's, it's going but you see how this switches between uh, resolution now you can change by going like this it was sunny now it's set for cloudy and you shade it again now it's set for indoors you shade it again and now it's set for it's <laughs> 25 milliwatts. You can bring it up to 200 milliwatts by going like that. But I'm okay. So it's set up the way I like it for a sunny day. Now I reset it, and 25 milliwatts. I reset it there too. So let's go for a flight of this thing. Put it on my A1200 and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. 
Okay, let's take up the FXT82 and send it for a flight. Uh, hope you enjoy this flight. <laughs> so, got it on my 8200. Get it up in the air. And taking over in FPV. Oh, it looks beautiful on my, F, on my FXT goggles. I told you the story of my FXT goggles, right? Uh, <laughs> a few weeks back, I was going outside with my dog to go flying. And then she took off after another dog. It was out in the next door neighbor's dog, actually. And I put my goggles and my airplanes and everything behind the car while I went after my dog. And unfortunately, I forgot they were there. And uh, I ran over it. <laughs> I ran over my original FXT goggles. But I liked them so much, I immediately bought another pair, folks. I mean, these are excellent goggles. See what I'm doing? I can actually look up in the air and see the airplane at the same time while I'm flying it through the goggles. It's just cool. They're cool goggles. Really are. So, okay, let's talk about the video. Uh, the video feed from this looks very nice, uh, but it always normally does with these, with these goggles. Uh, hopefully, um, it'll look good in recording. Unfortunately, the video recording is still something to be desired with the goggles. Um, I'm recording with two, both of these and my EV800 goggles. So we'll see how well that performs. Uh, again, I'm only flying at 25 milliwatts. The reason being I'm using that little uh, uh, 4.2 volt uh, battery on there. Notice uh, we get FPV uh, from the goggles telling you how much voltage is being used or what the current voltage level of that battery is and it's 3.8 volts it looks like so we got a lot of flight I, w I took that battery down to 3.5 volts and it was no problem at all um, so you know they, they tell you it's 5 volts minimum but I don't think that's true I don't think that's true at all to tell you, because I'm using a lipo battery with it and there's no problem at all powering this thing. So let's go out to the edge of its range. I want to go this way to the left because I know this area a little bit better. Whoa, oh, oh, I'm losing a little reception, but that was because the antenna was probably pointing directly at me. But uh, over here, we're about, a, I'm guessing about 100 meters away. Turn to the left. Still looks good. And yeah, the A1200 uh, is an excellent FPV plane. Uh, those of you who haven't figured that out already. I don't think they make this anymore, unfortunately. You know, I'm gonna try going to uh, 3D mode. Flying at 3D mode now. Increasing throttle. Going down and try and that. <laughs> We're going to fly 3D mode now. 3D mode is similar to flying a, a quadcopter, a FPV quadcopter this is. So, you know, it is actually a lot similar to flying an FPV quadcopter. So there's no issue with that. Throttling up. Oh, not enough power. but it gives you a jerky video. So going back to 3D stabilized flight, the video gets kind of jerky as you're jerking around up there. But this camera is nice. Now, FXT makes another camera. They got a 1,000 TV line camera that they sent me that I'm going to be reviewing here in the near future. I forgot the name of that one right now, but I'm going to probably stick it on this same plane. Um, a thousand TV line camera should give you really good video. Now I'm flying toward the sun. I wanted to see what, you know, how, you know, this wide dynamic range is working excellently. Notice I fly to the sun and look at the ground. Look at the color of the ground. It's, it looks fine. And then I fly away from the sun and you don't notice much change at all. That's the wide, you know, super wide dynamic range of this camera and it's working excellently. Let me do that again. I'll fly toward the, toward the sun and I hear an airplane. Where's that airplane, my love? Coming down, coming down. Reducing throttle, coming down. 
Line low. I don't see. I'm going to land it until this guy goes by or come down real low. He's off in the distance, but I hear him. Is that a, no, that's not an airplane. That's a truck. Okay. That scared I, me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on weekends, this, this area where I'm flying, uh, you know, this is a restricted area on weekdays, but on weekends it's open to everybody, and they, they do come in here, uh, especially little puddle jumper planes, to fly around the area, but uh, that scared me. <laughs> Again, folks, if you, you know, this is just, use common sense when you're flying. You know, you hear a helicopter, you hear an airplane flying by, you want to land immediately or get it down low as fast as you can, because... You know, don't be one of those guys that you see in the newspaper every week just about that decides to want to see how high his drone can go. They can go high. You don't need to prove it. <laughs> but you're putting people in danger when you do that. And don't go flying over people. <laughs> I try to avoid flying over people. You're just creating more drone phobic out there when you do that. But, wow, that's a nice camera. That really is a nice camera, the FXT. Thank you for sending this. I'm really impressed at how well it handles, especially the uh, when I go into the sun like this. You know, I can still see the ground. You know, I still see the ground very clearly. So it's, it's doing a great job. So. Very nice camera. Let's see if I can come down and do a, a slow pass bias. I'm going to try that. Reducing throttle without stalling. <laughs> That's the next issue. Can I fly by without stalling it? Cutting off throttle, just gliding. I'm gonna take it down low. I'm gliding, folks. It is a glider. <laughs> it's doing a good job gliding. It's doing an excellent job gliding. That's why I like the H1200. It is an excellent plane. I don't know why this hadn't, didn't not become super popular, but it, it's, a keeper for me, as you can figure that out. I still got mine. Still gliding. There, I can see the shadow. I can see the shadow with this plane, or with his goggles, and the camera. Give it a little throttle. Gliding bias. Cool, huh? The A1200. Wonderful plane. Oops. And there we go. <laughs> okay. I think that's enough demonstration. I will take the hat from you, my love. <laughs> Here, hold my, please hold my uh, thing there. But let's go get it. How do you like that landing, folks? <laughs> I saw it coming up, and I, I didn't turn, or I didn't power it up until it was too late. Oh, well. Hope I didn't hurt it. We'll find out. How you doing there, H1200? Please don't be broken. I like you. Okay, just a little niche there, a little niche there. Looks like it might be able to fly again. Let's try it. Let's see if it still flies. Hold on. We'll go back. Okay, let's see if this still flies, hopefully. Oh, yeah, it does. No problem at all. Wonderful glider, the A1200, huh? And a wonderful camera to put on it, that FXT camera. Goes well with this airplane. So I'm gonna land it now, folks. We're gonna call it quits here. I just wanna demonstrate that camera. Again, I have another camera that I'm going to be demonstrating here in the near future. There are, oh, 1000 TV line version. 1000 TV line camera, which is cool. Let's bring it in for landing. Just gliding. Gliding, gliding, gliding. By my wife and dog. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that flight. Let's get it. <laughs> They're just standing there. The, why were you standing there? <laughs> Okay, this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, sighty out.
Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.